As we here uh, in NSC, and we've inaugurated this report, which is all-encompassing for the entire capital markets, right? It's not just about the exchange. It's not just about the NSC group. It's about the entire ecosystem. So therefore, I'm thinking, you know, again, when we were kids, we didn't have a TV in our house. Right? I don't know, most of you are much too young to even imagine a world without a television. But we did not have a television in our home. So kya hota tha ki when there was the Sunday movie, right? So there was a very well-to-do family in the neighborhood. And sub neighborhood ke bachche vaha jaake and on the floor we would all sit down in front of the television. And, uh, you know, this well-to-do neighbor would then allow us to see the movie on, on Sunday evening. And, of course, that auntie would very graciously give us some biscuits and stuff like that. So today I'm feeling like that. So NSC is our well-to-do neighbor uh, <laughs> and has undertaken to do this amazing uh, report which covers the entire ecosystem. We are watching TV Sunday picture. So thank you, NSC. Um, the second thing I wanted to say today is that the uh, spirit of today's uh, getting together, and I call it a getting together, to me is very different from normal. And what is that? To me, today is a celebration. And as you can see, I've also dressed for the part. Right? Normally, you see me in black sari. So my colleague today commented, Madam, you're not in black. I said, today is celebration day. Okay. So what is it we are celebrating as an ecosystem sitting here, all of us together? We are celebrating the fact that this ecosystem that we have, that we call the market ecosystem, to my mind has evolved to become a family. You know, we all have different roles to play in this family, as you can see from here. Everyone has their distinct role to play in this family, but at the end of the day, when one person is in trouble, the other comes to bail him or her out, the other one comes to assist, and together they try and optimize the entire ecosystem as a whole. And I would say that to me the most rewarding aspect of the last six odd years, six and a half years that I've been around in this market, has been this, that the entire ecosystem comes together as a family. Like any family, we also have our battles. Mia Mevi may be jagra hota hai, bachcho or grandparents may be jagra hota hai, khub jagra hota hai, but finally we are a family. So I think that today the spirit of the market ecosystem being a family is what I would really like to, um, uh, to celebrate with all of you here together. A part of this family is also what, at least in SEBI, we have started to call the phenomenon of collaboration. Some people call it collaboration, some people call it cooperation. What it means is that you have people who otherwise compete with each other, right? They each commercially playing this game of chess, pawn against pawn, king against queen, rook against castle. But when it comes to the good of the ecosystem as a whole, they cooperate, right? They collaborate. And each one brings his little piece to the game and to the table and that's when the entire ecosystem can become as vibrant as we have seen it. So what this report really, I think, projects for India as a country is not just the technological prowess of the country, not just about forward-looking regulation. It is about the spirit of cooperation that we will compete in the markets, but we will cooperate to make sure that the ecosystem as a whole is as robust, as cost efficient, and as well serving to every stakeholder as it possibly can, and that we will all cooperate on that. So to me, that's a huge celebration uh, of this phenomenon, and the report itself manifests that because it covers every single aspect of the market ecosystem. Now, as has been pointed out, we have a number of things that we as an ecosystem are very proud of because it's a global first. You know, very often people say, um, is there a difference between global first and the only person to do it globally? And I say, yes, there is. Because in many ways, the technology that we have architected as an ecosystem, it's not just about being first. 
the architecture itself is so progressive and so right, I would say, uh, you know, at the frontier, that for a large number of jurisdictions, it is simply not possible because the journey of re-architecting the market ecosystem, when we look at the way in which we do pledge, re-pledge of securities, the way we have ASBA, the way we have up, uh, upstreaming of funds, all of these things, segregation of collateral, all of this is because over the years we have architected the markets in a way that it's unique and that it has this amazing amount of transparency and ability to manage risk at a very, very granular level. So it's not just about being the first in the world to do it, but uniquely positioned to do a number of these things, which on the one hand make things extremely accessible to the investors and equally make it extremely well risk managed. So, this report really, to me, manifests all of these issues in terms of delivering quality. And what do I mean by quality? It means investor convenience and high quality risk management, all at an extremely, extremely uh, a low cost compared to anywhere else in the world. The second, in terms of ensuring the market integrity. And, you know, I think that People don't sometimes appreciate what we have as a market. You know, this example that was just shared about uh, the ETFs. You know, now globally ETFs are very common and a site like this is very common. What is it that allowed us as a market to do this in such a short time? Right? From ideation to delivery has been a very, very short time. The reason is that at the center when you keep the core values of market integrity and transparency, nothing is too much to do for that. So the first step has been taken today in terms of the uh, new website for um, you know, the, the passive funds, which will only help the investors. For everyone in this room, there's a lot more to come. You know that when we, we, we adopt a, a strategy of saying, how can we assist the investor to compare, to benchmark, to make an informed decision? And how can that be done easier, simpler, quicker? This is but the first step. And very soon you will be seeing that there are other very important participants in our market ecosystem who will soon be announcing similar kind of benchmarking uh, data in uh, sites which will really make things very, very easy, particularly for the newer asset classes that we have in our markets. So keeping the market integrity at the center of everything and basically premeditated on transparency is what makes our ecosystem this strong. Of course, the entire cost angle, as we've been discussing very often, and that's again a hallmark of the Indian ecosystem, that the cost is so low that a financial inclusion is actually possible. And of course, uh, you know, we're all looking forward to do the 250 rupee SIP very soon. Uh, but it is completely happening uh, in a viable way because of the technology that is behind it and because of the fact that the scale that the Indian market gives allows the players to even make money on very, very small sachet size investments from our citizens. Last but not least, all of this, we never forget the fact that the markets are there and exist and the regulator exists and the ecosystem exists really as a way of facilitating capital formation in the country and making sure that that drives the growth of the country, employment in the country, and basically the livelihood for each of our citizens. And therefore, it's a matter of great pride when we say that we had 200 odd issues in the last year, which is practically one, you know, practically one every working day. I think we have about 220 working days. So practically one every working day. And you add to that the fact that uh, the data that wasn't here was the, the debt market, the amount of money raised in the debt market. And I think last year that was about eight and a half lakh crores. So it is not small, okay? If the equity markets raised about, uh, I don't know, about 8 million. So imagine, okay, what, when you add all of that. So 
I think that this ecosystem really has come together to, to create something really worth celebrating. And therefore, um, you know, when we took this step initially uh, at a smaller level, and today, uh, you know, there are awards to be given out today. In SEBI, we debated that, you know, nowhere in the world does a regulator give an award to a regulated entity. Okay? Nowhere in the world. And it's like, should we do it? What if tomorrow we have to issue an order against them? What if we discover there's something bad that they've done? It will look so bad. And I said, really? So it's like, you know, the principal of a school saying, I don't think I'll give you an award for physics today, this year, because you got 100 on 100, because next year you may fail in geography. Now, you know, that's not on, right? What has been achieved, delivered, wonderful work that has been done uh, just needs to be celebrated. And as a regulator, we always have the option of saying that past performance is not an indicator of the future. So, so uh, we've therefore decided to step out of the crease and uh, do something very different, uh, which no other regulator in the world has ever done which is to say that we put our name on an award that we say that we would like to congratulate and fit the market ecosystem because of the amazing work that they've done over the years and they are truly deserving of this. And just as the regulator, SEBI, is the voice of the investor when it comes to protecting investor interest, equally it is on behalf of the investors that today SEBI is going to be giving these awards to various market uh, infrastructure institutions and participants. Thank you.